All right. So <clears throat> again, uh, all of you have been briefed that you are trying to uh, ascertain who is the fleet commander and eliminate him. Uh, and your secondary objective is that's your primary objective. And your secondary objective is to eliminate as many planes as possible. For every eliminated plane, uh, you're going to get uh, plus two cohesion back to your squad. And you're also going to get um, something extra uh, for the main campaign. Uh, probably we'll see uh so uh sabriel which is you monk and cameron which is i think uh dude hello no cameron is mom yeah cameron okay so armoros there you go is dude and castion is tesseract okay so uh you are free to choose uh Squad one, you're free to choose which one do you attack first, the left or the right plane. Do we have any details of these planes? Uh, so the plane on the right uh, is uh, kind of an elongated, uh, and the plane on the left is kind of wide. Uh, it's a uh, one on the left seems to be more of a bomber. The one on the right seems to be more of a uh, uh, what do you call them? A fighter. Let's get that bomber out of the sky. All right, so we're going to be going for the bomber. Uh, let me put you guys onto the, on the map. Uh, one second. Uh, one second. Okay, so here's Sabrio. Okay, uh, and are you just... Uh, okay, so you're jumping up on top of the roof of this uh you have enough movement with your jump pack to reach uh the bomber from where you currently are as the cargo bay is open and you are soaring through the sky uh so you uh jump down on the plane do you go immediately for the cockpit do you go for the cargo bay uh which like which kind of part of the bomber do you go for first how, how do you insert yourself Phrasing. <laughs> uh, mm. I think well since it's the bomber I think cargo bay because that way we can just blow up the shit in the inside while jumping out because can we, a bomber can we, can we... would probably have a harder cockpit to enter can we do anything with the wings, like collide with the wings so it just falls off? Mm. You are able to probably stand on top of the wings, and uh, if you don't fall through them first, as the f design of the ships does seem to be shoddy. <laughs> I think because this is a bomber, we should go into the uh, the cargo hold first. Or... Yeah. All right. So we six grenades each, by the way. Yeah, uh, you have three crack grenades and three frag grenades. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me then. Three or six? Which one is it? Six total. Three frags and three crack grenades. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be Sabrio, and this is going to be Armoros. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys over here. Do you see yourselves uh, on the map? Yes. I think my visor is turned off. God damn it. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to twiddle my thumbs because my character's not here. Yes. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna do this and vision and uh, dude, there you go. Okay, can you, can you see yourself now? There we go. Okay. I think so. All right, so you're in the cargo bay. Uh, the doors are closed and you kind of insert yourself. I'm going to try and put uh, the other guys in here so that they can actually see what's happening. Uh, they are not going to be participating, though. Uh, Cameron. Uh, okay, Moff. There you go. Can you see? Yep. All right. A little bit. 
uh, you're, you're uh, right beside a uh, dude right now. So, okay, so yeah, uh, you are in the cargo bay. What do you do? I'm assuming these are the doors right here? If these are the doors, yep. Sweet. I'm going to move up. I'll move towards the doors and uh, get ready to uh, shoot. <clears throat> All right, uh, Yoma, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Sabrio, do you open the door right away? Uh, I'm going to move up and prep my uh, melted gun, but then I'm going to take my um, my arm, my servo arm, and shred through the door by lifting it up. All right, so you prep your melted gun and you prep the door uh, uh, with your servo arm. Okay, dude, what do you do? I just a uh, aim at the door, be ready to shoot. All right. So uh, this uh, this is what's going to happen, uh, dude. Uh, you open the door. Uh, there is no one, uh, thankfully. Uh, Yoma, uh, Sabrio, you open the door, and there is immediately an orc uh, holding a, an axe, uh, like a chopper, in front of you. Uh, you are able to attack him immediately. Sweet. Uh, then I'll use my. I'll use my servo arm and uh, peck at him. All right. Uh, this is going to be a surprise round, so he's not going to have enough time to react. Excellent. Any any bonuses? Mm, no. All right. Oh, oh, I failed. All right. You uh, you lift up your arm. Uh, you see that there is a uh, orc boy standing in front of you. You. Like immediately try to kind of like do like a snake, like you know how snakes they like bite real quick and then they go back. You're gonna do the same thing with your servo arm, uh, but it like uh, it misses. Uh, dude, you also have a surprise round. You step around and you see that there's a, an orc boy right in the corridor. Oh, well, I wish I can actually look like I'm in cover. Uh, you, you, uh-huh. we can say that you're like looking around the corner, uh, if that's what you're, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'll fire the orc on the right with my lays, Deanna. All right, fire away. You are within half range, so you're going to have a plus 10. Okay, and I also have the motion predictor, so it's also plus 10, so plus 20. All right. Oh, yeah, um, Eomong, do you have any hate uh, talents, which, like, against Xenos or anything of the like? Uh, no, but I do have a feedback screech that I would like to do. I'm it's just a re-rolling that. action. All right, you're re-rolling that. 99, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably a good choice. Uh, but since I'm here, if I could... Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't do... Oh, that's a hit. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, uh, roll your damage. 31. Uh, you uh, shoot at the one on the right, I presume? Yeah. All right, you shoot him right in the torso. His kind of chest explodes and he falls over. That's one boy down. Uh, uh, on my surprise round, uh, since it's only a half action to attack, could I have used a half action to do a feedback screech? Which is everybody from 30 meters of me has to make a willpower test or otherwise they lose uh, ha- a half action. So they can only take a half action on their next turn. So uh, meters or feet? We're gonna meters. say meters. This, we're gonna say this is meters. meters. Yeah. Uh, okay. It says unprotected creatures, so allies with our helmets should be protected. Mm. All right. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. All right. Uh, well, enemies have to make that willpower test. Oh, uh, willpower test. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. And if they fail, they can only take a half action on their next on their turn. All right. Let's see. Uh... All right, so this is going to be one, two. Okay, hold on. One, two, and three. And this is going to be one, two. Did they all fail? Oh, wait, no, one succeeded. Uh, two succeeded. Two, two succeeded. Two succeeded. All right. Good, good, good. So really well. the one in front of you did not succeed. He is going to be debilitated by your psychic screech, uh, by the screech of this uh, uh, thing you just did. And the you can hear beyond uh, 
the walls and the doors you can hear like orcs just like ah like you know screeching in in pain as whatever you did was pretty effective uh nice. now we're gonna roll for initiative uh turn order there you go and uh, i think it was like agility bonus plus 10 right 1d10 plus I got an eight. Uh, oh, uh, let me quickly get the initiative macro, I guess. One second. Mm. Oh, my. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, uh, did they change something? In a death watch. There you go. Did they change the uh, looks of the rolls? Uh, am I might be crazy. I think they're the same for me. I'm not sure. There's like a blue shape around the uh, number generator. Hmm. Oh, the little dice? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's always been there. Huh. Okay. It's showing you that's the dice roll versus the bonus. Okay, initiative. It wasn't there for me. Or, or I haven't been on this for a while. Uh... Chop on. There it's go. been there for years, I think. You just probably didn't have ever noticed. Yeah. I think it only really takes effect if you do the uh, a roll 1D something. Wait a second. I'm going to roll that roll, roll again and see if it changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Just go change that to an 8. Sure. Because uh, I saw two 8s in a row. I'm like, okay, is this really range hmm. all right so uh you just like your token by the way if you want to do initiative oh, actually let me see if i can just add you uh okay so uh you mike you are on the thing right or no that's dude on the thing uh yeah so okay let me add you sabrio And you have what? Uh, four uh, plus. Well, one. I rolled an eight. Oh, total. eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. There you go. So uh, you're going to have eight. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh, so, first, uh, you hear commotion uh, from. Uh, around you all around you uh, i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this uh you do see one of the door open Hold on. and you do see a slugger boy run out and he kind of he just shoots at the first thing he sees uh without even really paying attention he just sprays and prays Oh, so he shoots his own fr uh, own work. Uh, we're gonna see if that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um... <laughs> oh my God, he does hit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, he's targeting you, dude. Oh. Yeah. We can try. Oh, well, he already did. He he already Ooh. hit. <laughs> Uh, what was the modifier for dodge? Uh, nothing. It's just dodge. I mean, it's only 17 damage. I think you could probably just soak it. Oh my gosh. What is up with my rolls? Uh, you, you try to dodge, but you just hit the wall and you're like, you're just like, uh, you know, you don't expect the wall to be there. You just uh, stand, like you jump back to the same place you kind of try to jump out of. And so you're, you're hit with the, like this barrage of, uh, slug arounds hitting you. Um, you take... Which which uh, body did that hit? Uh, that hit ninety two, which is the head, I think. Left leg. No, oh, that was left the left leg. So is the bottom number the important thing? Yeah. Okay, that's sixteen. Mm -hmm. So that's what two points of damage. Uh, fourteen. Or one one point. one point of damage. I think. Yeah. yeah, one point of damage. Okay, it's not that bad. All right. 
Uh, you hear more commotion. Uh, the doors up top also open. Uh, you uh, another set of Slugger boys run forward. Uh, they see you fighting, uh, Sabriel, and they're just gonna shoot. They don't care. They're just gonna shoot. Actually, they're uh, they're uh, also shooting into melee range, which means they're gonna have a minus what minus twenty to hit. I think it's just a minus ten. Or a minus ten. All right, and another one. Yeah, they are just spray and pray. Uh... Oh, actually, when you have when you're fight, uh, sh fighting, uh, sh sorry, shooting into melee, if you miss, I think you hit the friendly. Uh character is not right there's like a chance they hit i don't remember what that chance is though we're gonna say one of them did hit hold on <laughs> uh a, a stray bullet did at least graze the poor uh orc you're fighting um ouchie he is very hurt <laughs> but he is standing all right. Uh, it's now your turn, Sabriel. Oh, it is a minus twenty. Okay. Wait, why do you have sixteen? Whoops. There you go. I don't know. So it, it is a minus twenty to shoot the combat. I was wrong. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and hit him again. <laughs> All right, go for it. Get hit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all right. I'm just going to fake one in this one. Okay, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how worse. Uh, oh, 81. Yeah, uh, you just swing wildly and he... he uh, like The server arm is too slow. For, like The orc is too fast and like he just dodges out of the server arm's way. All right. You'll probably have to catch him at an opportune moment to actually hit that. Then I will take my other half action to do the Ritual of Awe, uh, which is everybody in 50 meters of me uh, will have a minus 10 on all of their uh, skill checks. On all, on just all of their checks. Mm -hmm. um, let, me, let me look it up again. And companions can make a willpower check to not be affected by it. Luckily, uh, dude is not on the range, so he doesn't have to do that. 50 meters. Uh, we're going to say the feet oh. are meters. Uh, the, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a big play. No, no, no. Very big play. Like, not, not, 15. Not, <laughs> not 15, 50. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, that's everybody. That's everybody. But, but I'm, I'm going to recheck it just to make sure. I'm trying to find it again. Uh, yep, 50 meter radius. Uh, treat the character as if I had a fear rating of one. Uh, that is a lot of checks. Okay. <laughs> uh, the character may not communicate in any other way because I'm talking. Cards a half action to do it. Uh,. Oh, they just treat me as if uh, I had a fear of one. All right. That's right. Nope, nope, nope. That's not it. That's the right of fear. Right of awe. Here we go. This is the one I want. <laughs> Everyone within a 15 meter radius takes a minus 10 to their next skill test, which includes weapons or ballistics. Player characters may ignore this on a successful will test. Any modifiers on the will? Nope. Hold on. You may not Maybe want a plus to use that. To it. <laughs> you may not want to use that one. I think you missed a part. All humans. Eh, I mean, they're humanoids. Uh, okay. L l which which page is it? Like, wh what's the what's the? Uh, it's 125. And it, yeah, it does say all humans. Uh, it does say humans several times in it as well. Yeah. I'll be the judge of that. Hold on. Current <laughs> voice box allows him to recite. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Mm-hmm. It's a very limiting, very limiting ability. I'm going to say that this means humanoids. Uh, this is my ruling. Excellent. Okay. Fair I still enough. have to roll. Yes. Yeah. Well. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I see the no, problem. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, nothing just happens. It's just everyone has a minus 10 to their things now. Okay. Yeah, to their next check. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You, uh... know, what, you know what's better? Humans without auditory implants cannot hear the sound, but they are still affected. They just don't know who's speaking. So none of them technically hear this. They're just scared of him now. Well, they're... Yeah, they're it's... They're affected by it, yeah. It's like the vibrations are just, like, messing with their brains. Or Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so the, the orc in front of you tries to take a swing at you, and he's going to do it, like, minus 10. He yeah. misses. All so right. Yeah. Okay. This guy is going to move up. He's going to f- be blocked by the slugger boy in front of there. He can't really pass. Okay. This guy is going to move into the door frame. Uh, the other ones just move closer. Okay. These ones also just move closer. And that's just going to be the end of their turn. Dude. How much help do these orcs have? Uh, well, you did one shot the orc, you, like the the, the, the the big melee, the, the, the orc having, avoiding a chopper, like an axe type of thing. Actually, not bad. So it's really not that bad. Yeah. Do keep in mind, you're also only rank three. And we've been used to being max rank for a while. Through. I'll fire the last cannon against the guy that shot me. I'm retaliating. All right, go go for it. So it's usually plus twenty, but because of the fear thing, it'll be ten, right? Mm, yes. Yes. Damn. Damn. You you shoot, uh, but like the vibrations just vibrate your gun, and like it just takes off, like it sh- shakes off your aim a bit, and you just miss. Uh, very close though. It was very close. Anything else I'd like to do? Um, all better. That's what we'd like to do. <laughs> you have been rolling pretty high. Yeah. Let's see here. What else did I do? Is firing that a full action or half action? Half action, I think. If you're doing a single... Oh, so fire again. Uh, it's a grenade. I'll throw a grenade. Why not? All right, where do you oh, throw the grenade? There's, there's, a, there's a lot of people around, you know? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to throw a grenade about 35 meters. Uh, what's your strength bonus Easter. again? Uh, strength is 41. Uh, four... So, uh, four times three, uh, 12. 12 meters is how far you can throw it, I think. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Where was it? Oh, you have a natural strength, so it's doubled, right? Uh, yes. So, 24 meters. 24 meters. I'll just, uh, throw a grenade between right, right here. See, I can play golf. And throw oh, my, my bad. My bad. I, f- I, f- I forgot to do this uh, last turn. That is on me. That is my bad. Uh, the door opened uh, on the bottom as well. Sorry. Oh, well, I found a new place for you to throw your grenade. <laughs> <laughs> that is on me. I forgot to open that door. Yeah. Yeah. I'll throw uh, throw the grenade southward. Uh, is there okay. any modifier for uh, that? Um, I think you just throw it. I think there is no modifiers for throwing a grenade. A flip. Uh, if you even if it's a, like a a, um, a failure, it just it goes into like a still nearby, nearby enough. Um, 
<laughs> all right, all right, minus four. Okay, not bad. All right, uh, let's see. Ninety nine, nice. Mm. <laughs> Doing good. <laughs> Let me find scatter. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, one to ten. Okay. Let me roll a one to ten. Okay. And hmm, who knows? It might be even, even be great. Uh, mm, excellent. Okay, so uh, it traveled. One meter here. <laughs> uh, actually, here. Like, yeah, but basically here. Really? To the edge of this. Okay. Yeah. And that was a 99. Gotcha. What's the range of those again? 10? Uh, five. Plus a five. Yeah. That's at least all three of those guys so right there. This is, this is yeah. like the corner of the square is where you're like... Uh, hold on. Let me... There's five for you. So you're hitting the guy on the very left, then after him. So three guys on the left. Yeah. Well, I only know there's three guys. Two at the door, one on the right. All right. But that's that's, that's who you are hitting. So uh, you gotcha. may roll for damage. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty Bubble good. Ones. Wow. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is like the. I think this is the first I see that. Oh my god. All right. Minus two de uh, health to each one of them. Well, toughness. So they just kind of absorb it. Uh. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, we are we are doing great. <laughs> All right, so um, the slug. How did we survive low level? <laughs> How did we make it to where we are? Three of you didn't. Well, well, I killed myself. It doesn't really count. It doesn't count. No, count. We, we survived our first encounters. We were we survived them pretty well, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Aside from that one grenade, you know. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> A, throws a cracker day, bounces, hits voice. you in the head, explodes. The reason I failed that is because I wasn't trained in demolition, so any roll I'd make would be a failure, and I didn't know that at the time. Um, I think. Uh, but uh, so um, let's see. Shooting you, uh, Sabriel. Remember, all these are at minus ten. Yes. You know, I have a feeling that orcs should just see how lousy the performance oh, is whoops, and have whoops, to do whoops, don't like a it. will check to see if they they are just laughing laughing till they fall off mm -hmm. actually how about uh, 86 okay still misses that's an 89 okay nice. so yeah the, the ones on top they also just they just keep spraying um let me roll uh, a 1d10 to see actually you know what If it's above five, they're gonna hit one of their own. Okay, they're gonna hit one of their own. So, uh, they're gonna <laughs> the grazing bullets hit the boy in the uh, on, uh, in the door frame, uh, and they're gonna do nineteen damage to him. He is at death's door. Pretty good. Okay, uh, the one in the middle is also gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot also at you, Sabriel. Actually, no, you, uh, he got shot by, uh, what's your name again? Armoros, uh, just now, so he's gonna shoot back. Uh, he's got jam, oh, actually, no, he doesn't jam. Well, I think, no, 95 and above is when he ja jams. Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so he doesn't jam quite yet, but it's, he still misses you very hard, uh, and the uh, boys in the bottom they're gonna they're like kind of concussed by the grenade throw you just did and they're gonna take hip fire shots at you as well 
So one, two, and three. They all miss. Um, you know, I have a theory that the turbulence is really bad right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are flying at very high speed right now, and uh, yeah, that's true. Sabriel, I'm an orc bomber. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm 16 again. That's weird. Uh, oh, I know. I know what's happening. Okay, all good. Right. Well, I'm just gonna have to try and hit him again. Get hit. Uh, mm. Do you have a chainsword with you? I do, but my servo arm uh, does more damage. Like, right. a lot more damage. Yep. Okay. <laughs> if it actually hits, that's correct. All right. It, <laughs> it, it's, it would have been the same roll if I rolled with a chainsword. Uh, it's balanced, I think. It's plus 10, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, it's for uh, parrying, I think, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just plus 10 for parrying. Yeah. All, All right. right. Uh, well, then I'll do uh, the right of all again, just to keep it going. Give everybody that minus 10. Uh, Amarill, or whatever your name is, you can... Uh, Armoros. Armoros. Yeah. You can uh, do that willpower check and not get affected this time. A. Hell not yeah. This time. Good job. All right. Those turbulence, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. All right. The orc boy is going to take a swing at you. Uh, he's going to like... Ha! He's going to try He just misses. Yeah, he just like swings at you, and you dodge out of the way. Uh, the other orc boy comes up. Uh, he like runs up to you. He and he's gonna try also to hit you. All right. He gets that plus ten bonus because he's now outnumbering me. So correct. You know, a zero, and he still misses you. I'm glad their melee is a twenty, which is weird for orcs. <laughs> oh, that's that's sluggers. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, what should have happened uh, was this. Oh my god, they they heroed a four. Holy shit. Mm. Well, no, that's see, a lot of fours rolled. It said Choppa. Choppa? Yeah, yeah, the, the first one, uh, the one above that said Choppa. All right, I'm going to give you yeah, but the, one the... chance to uh, keep that 20 year old. Okay, convince me. Convince the DM. I'm just saying, the attack said Choppa. Uh, uh, let me parry here. <laughs> you could just add 20 to that Choppa test to get the roll instead. Oh, that's also true. Yeah, it would still miss then. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, yeah, it, it just uh, missed. Yeah. Thank you, voice from the void. You just saved your. Comrade. Thank you, Meta Pigeon. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. To also be fair, we're in turbulence right now. <laughs> hey, hey. So he's we don't to need penalties, penalties either. We <laughs> don't need penalties either. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, an orc boy from the middle, he just decides to shove uh, his uh, fellow uh, fungi friend out of the way. Um, Let's see, uh, I'm going to do a strength check, actually. Okay, this is a chopper boy. I hope he fails. It's going to be a contested, uh, contested roll against the slugger. Okay, and a slugger. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. He's like, hey, hey, what you do? Hey, what, what, what the hell? <laughs> and he does not get through. Okay, very good. Um... The one on the bottom uh, is going to also try to push a slugger boy away. So this is going to be chopper. And this is going to be slugger. Oh my god. <laughs> no, they don't want to budge at all. Okay. Uh, one more. One more. And... Wait, did, did did that go through? I'm not sure that went through. Only one go through, one through. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Slagas are just not. Actually, wait. No, this was slaga. Okay. So yeah. Okay. This one did that get pushed away, and he gets prone. He gets knocked prone. Uh. Here, 
He just splatters on the ground, and this uh, orc runs up to you, dude, and he takes a swing. You can try. Mm, it's going to be a minus 10, right? There you go. Yep, he misses. All right, dude. Um, Armoros, your turn. I'll do as a first action. I'm gonna attempt to retreat into my corridor. Mm -hmm. uh, this will trigger an attack of opportunity, I think, from the orc boy. I yes. think we have a tax opportunity in Death Watch, right? Yeah. Second. I think uh, it's something. It's something. Uh, we do have a tax of opportunity in Death Watch, right? Uh, you can use a reaction oh, to uh, attack a person when you're going out. Yeah. Literally. Okay. So we do have that. Okay. Uh, then yes, you're gonna provoke an attack of opportunity from this guy, unless you use this engage, which will use your full turn. Unless you're using like a back off action, they might not. <laughs> uh, all I'm trying to do is get retreat into a corridor so I can uh, kind of refocus and fight whoever comes in. All right. Uh, don't forget, you do have squad mode abilities and solo mode abilities, just letting you know. Uh, then you are moving away, and he's going to try. Oh. So, yeah, that'll be a free half move then to retreat. Ben? Would that work? Uh, I. If you're uh, if um, if you're using disengage, uh, yeah, it will not provoke an attack, and you will be able to move a half move. Yes. Uh, but just have to. Yeah, so I have to deal with the combat advantage thing. Uh, if you do decide to move normally and then attack. Uh, the this orc, then you will have to take damage. Oh, like uh, he will swing at you. Otherwise, you'll just move back, and nothing will happen. I'm gonna move. I'm the, I, I'm gonna move back and engage with my uh, ranged weapon. All right. In that case, you're gonna. He's gonna take a swing at you again. He misses wildly. He. He's like he he swings so hard. In fact, his chopper just flies out of his hand. <laughs> He's now uh, without a weapon. Cool. And I use the laser cannon as well, using the ability of hip shooting, so I don't get any penalties. Mm -hmm. I still get minus ten on that, so plus ten in total. Oh, uh, you don't minus... get a plus. You no, don't... no, no, no. You you succeeded your willpower. Yeah. So, uh, oh, he did. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you got okay. a plus ten because you're also in half range. So, yeah. What is he within, uh, five, uh, like one or two, uh, like five meters of you, like five feet of you? Fifteen. Ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, because if he's at point blank, you get plus thirty to hit. Oh yeah, true. Uh, you you can move just slightly forward, like, like you, you, yeah, like you can disengage and not like move out of your square and be in point blank range, but you're no longer engaged. Or you know, move out of it so you're no longer engaged. He attacks you, swings at you, but basically, nice yeah, basically, you basically, basically can just shoot right now with a plus thirty to your advantage. <clears throat> we plus fifty then. Oh my god! I hope I hope you hit. He does hit. <laughs> Yay! He is oh dead. <laughs> is there, was there anyone behind him? Because I feel that person should be dead too. Um, let's see. Oh, One second. One is there second. something through the wall? Let's see. How are you shooting? Okay, uh, no. It's a cannon. It, it does not. It does not hit anything behind him. No. Oh. It does make a, a huge wall, uh, a hole in the in the hole, but it does not hit anyone. All right. Sluggers. <sighs> shoot your shoot shoot time. It's time for them to shoot their buddies. Mm. Do they still have a minus ten to their penalty? Yeah. Okay. okay. If, if the first thing that they do, they get a minus ten on. Minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. Woo, that one mattered. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, the that, one... was the, that was the first one it mattered on. The one in the middle is going to shoot uh, into you as well. Uh, actually. Well, actually, they should have had like minus 30s because they're shooting into melee range. My yeah. bad. Uh, in that case, that's going to plus minus 6.9. Oh, well, some of those are jamming then. I in think. Fact, the first two are jamming if they're uh, if the minus 20s. Uh, they do get negative degrees of success, and I think uh, they will hit their bodies again because they're just firing blindly. Uh, so they're going to do damage once. They're going to do damage twice. Congratulations, I don't have any orc boys that are threatening you anymore. You know what? If you just don't do anything, the enemies kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my yeah, experience so far this game. <laughs> <laughs> Most things that attack me just kill themselves. Okay, let me put them back on the turn order. Sorry. Uh, uh, I think they were right like this. Hey. Yeah. That's an initiative. Uh, yeah, they shot. Okay, so the one in the middle is going to shoot uh, you. Who's you? Sabriel. That's me. Minus 10. Yep. He hits. Oh. No. All right, well, I'm going to try and dodge. That's how much damage is going to go to you? I'm not going to try and dodge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Save my reaction. Okay, dude. Uh, so one of the Slugger boys is going to spend his turn getting up. So he's no longer prone. That's going to be his action. The rest are gonna kind of one of them is gonna move into the corridor, and since it's also point blank range, uh, he's gonna shoot you with a plus 20 because the point blank is plus 30 and he uh, has a minus 10 from the thingy. He hits. He shoots. And another one is also going to try and shoot you uh, from behind him. That's going to be a minus okay. 10. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so I'm going to dodge the first one. All right. Try to roll ahead and go ahead and roll. You dodge the uh, attack, the the first attack. Uh, the second one, uh, the the ro dodge rolls are rolled for separate attacks. They cannot be chained into like multiple attacks from I remember. So Correct. yeah, okay. So I, the second one, I'm essentially gonna need to absorb it, right? That's the yes, so ninety two is your leg, left leg again. Leg. They like your legs left a lot. Leg. That's a weird Ooh sentence la to la. say. <laughs> they're trying to cripple you as much as possible yes well that's just one additional damage all right not that bad sabriel god damn all it all right i have a half move of five which means i can move one square yeah yeah okay this oh wait, no! You have a jump pack. You, you you all have jump packs. So you have double oh, your yeah. movement. Yeah, you can double, double your our movement. movement. Okay, so I can move two squares. But that's not bad. That's better than one. One, two. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to uh, just hand. Uh, this guy. A live grenade. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> it just say, kindly hold this for me. <laughs> like, I have a present for you. Hot potato. <laughs> oh, it's for me? Zolt. Absolutely. So I, I give him a frag grenade, and since I'm not throwing it, I'm just giving it to him. It should hit everybody adjacent to him and him. Zolk, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll for uh, damage from the frag grenade. Uh, you are also going to be within range. Of My that. armor will absorb max damage, so I'm okay with it. All right. 16 okay. damage. I'm pretty happy with 16. Uh, let's see. 
Are any of them injured? No. Okay, so the Slugger boys are vi like on the dev store. And they feel very betrayed by you. They actually thought they <laughs> made a friend today, but apparently not. How could you? <laughs> All right, Chapa boys. Uh, they kind of... Uh, actually, uh, since you blew up a grenade right here, uh, I'm going to make them get knocked back one tile. <gasps> Yeah. Uh, this guy just is just kind of standing there. He's like, actually no here as well. Yeah, he gets knocked back there. <clears throat> they were really shocked that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and the Chapa boys are gonna. One of them is gonna charge you. That's gonna be a plus ten to his uh, hit, but it's gonna be a minus ten, so it's gonna be a zero. Uh, they're no longer under that minus 10 effect. Oh, then it's just going to be a plus 10. Hits. <laughs> Sweet, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, and the second one comes out, it comes up, and he's also going to do a hit. And it's going to be a plus 20. He misses. Nice. In fact... He grazes his co uh, compatriot. <laughs> he, and let's see, I'm going to half the damage that he's going to take. Um, so half of the... Oh my god, okay, the guy is dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely dead. All I right. tell you, man, they just kill themselves when they attack me. I don't get to do nothing. Turbulence, guys. <laughs> The turbulence. <laughs> All right. Uh, another one uh, runs up to you, Armoros, and he's gonna take a charge hit to you at you as well. Uh, hit plus ten. He hits. Another guy, kind of also tries to run, and he's like, "Oh, what? Hey, that's my turn. Hey, what?" Are you? And he's going to try to knock over the chopper boy in front of him to get the first turn in battle. Hold on. Uh, there's going to be a strength check against a strength check. I love orcs. <laughs> and I really? never... Uh, so the... <laughs> the orc that came up is successful in top, like tossing <laughs> the first one. And he just falls prone. So did he hit me? Then... Uh, then uh, so uh, it's going to happen like this. <clears throat> so he ch takes a swing at you, uh, but he gets uh, thrown at you because he's, he's getting toppled by the orc behind him. And so you're going to have a plus 20 bonus to dodge this one. I'm going to fade point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you dodge out of the way. <laughs> he kind of just like plops in front of you, like by your feet. He's like, oh. <laughs> uh, and then another orc is like, he's, he's trying to kind of get a good angle, but since he knocked over an, or an orc prone, he can't really like, it, it's awkward. He's like, he can't really put his foot down like any, like it's not a good footing for him. So, he, he so he's standing he on the other orc? Uh, he, he, he Basically, he doesn't have enough actions to actually like attack you. Yeah, he w ran up, toss like tussled the other orc to the ground, and he can't really like reach you in time to make an attack. So that's mm -hmm. gonna be his turn. Um, the orc in the middle uh, is still trying to get past the one slugger boy. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, and the slugger boy. <laughs> He does not get past him. He's like, Oi, cut it out. Oi. What is Ogin Yari doing? Uh, okay. Uh, dude, it's your turn. Uh, Armoros. I'm gonna take a free half move back. Mm -hmm. One tile. And then throw a grenade. Uh, and it's to... Not measure. Not measure. This. This. Wow. How do I tell it to not snap? 
Uh, alt, alt. There you go. Yeah. And try to throw it so I can hit these three. All right. Um, I'm gonna give you a plus ten circumstance bonus on this one since it's so close. <laughs> that really helps you. Okay. Uh, deal your damage. Hey. Uh, good news. You kill the slugger boy behind him. <laughs> um, you damage the orc that fell, and the orc that ran up to him is gonna get knocked over this side, like one tile. Okay. Okay. Then, as a second action, I'll use my last cannon against the one that's all. Closer to me. All right, use your last cannon. Mm. You are in melee range, I think. So, what does that mean? Mm. I think you can use your melee. Well, well, no, he got knocked over, so you're not really in melee range. He's just near you, so we, we're gonna count this as point blank range. So you're gonna have a plus thirty bonus. So plus fifty then. All right, do your damage. Describe how you kill this guy. Well, I, when I, once he knocked up, I went towards him and pointed his uh, pointed my last cannon towards his face. Fired and his head splattered mm -hmm. the floor. Very good. All right. The Sligo boys are still betrayed by your action. Um, are they? <laughs> they have like actual like tears running one of like one of them has a tear running down his eye. <laughs> uh he like gets up and is like take this and he starts uh um uh, blasting at you. <laughs> this makes me want to try Space Marine one. <laughs> Just to see how the orcs are really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're almost like that, except, but not exactly. Uh, okay, he's gonna do this. He misses. He's so like dumb, like he's so like, grieved. grieved by this. He's just like he can't. He <laughs> he can't really aim his gun. <laughs> All right, one more, and that's the one on the left, and the one behind him. He actually hits you for twelve damage. You just absorb all of that unless you wish to do the dodge. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, tink, tink, tink. Uh, the slugger boys at the end of the corridor are uh, going to try and shoot at you as well. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, minus well, that's a, this. I cornered them. And this one of them does hit you as well from behind you oh my god uh well okay well where is that hitting me uh that is hitting you uh oh, torso the body. yeah body. Ah, i'm dodging <laughs> that is a, that it does have penetration penetration of two i know all right good i uh, have armor of 22 on the body excellent excellent okay uh so the other slugger boy is gonna run down here as this kind of hailstorm of blitz and uh, showers the corridor he's gonna go to this nuke and he's gonna try to shoot at you armoros he misses all right sabriel all right i'm gonna just step here and then I'm just going to go, I've got another present for you. And I'm going to set it <laughs> right between them all, right here. So it hits everyone again. Wait, you promised this time? Oh, definitely. It, it's much better than the last one. Trust me. I, You just betrayed my trust, but I trust you now. And and he prepares sure for what? And he's dead. <laughs> The, the, the last word oh. was like, I trust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yep, that's going to be... Uh, uh, anything else you want to do in your turn? Uh, I mean, it was a half move, and unless okay. that's a free action, then all right. move again. All right, all right. Uh, the choppers, uh, 
the orc in front of you that just got hit by the grenade, uh, like he has his kind of pieces of his body missing. Uh, and he has kind of like like chunks and you, you can see like a, a couple of holes from the shrapnel, the frag grenade uh, permitting his body. And so he takes uh, an action, or like half an action to get up and he's gonna like take a swing at you since he's so close. Who? Uh, uh, here, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this guy. You said grenade and I got confused. It's like, what the there was another grenade down here <laughs> in the bottom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he takes a sh- swing. <laughs> he hits the wall, and uh, he hits the wall, and like his chopper gets stuck in the wall, and he's like, <laughs> he's like trying to like uh, take it out of the wall. Um, oh, I kind of want to just retaliate and just punch him back. <laughs> Uh, the 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 last the last chopper boy is like ah oh, finally that zogging git got passed and like he walks over oh hey where's all the bad hey where's the, where's the fighting and like he doesn't see anyone he just like scratches his head a bit oi <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't take he he like he skips his turn okay dude <laughs> armoros <laughs> your 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 move your turn so I'll take the first action. To chain sword the orc in front of me. All right, go and go ahead and roll for that. Is, is there any modifiers? Mm, I no, I have not done a lot of melee da- uh, stuff. So, is it just same of hit and then modifier then damage? Uh, yeah, just hit and uh, z- zero modifier. Oh, you did hit! Congratulations. <laughs> Describe how you kill him. Uh, so I grab so the. I had the chainsaw and pinned him down and grabbed his choppa and swing at his body, flying him toward uh, towards the wall here. All right. Very good. Very good. Anything else? Um, but that, I do have another action, don't I? You have a half action. And I fire uh, at this guy. Can you fire and melee at the same turn uh, as a half action? You can only take one attack per turn. Yeah. One attack? Okay. Unless you've got like the special like lightning assault attacks and whatnot. Mm, no. You can move. I don't. Now, I mean, yeah. you did righteous fury. You did. Which is technically another free attack action, but it's typically against the same target. Yeah. Oh, well, that that target is a little bit unconscious. I will. Okay. If you decide to follow through with the attack and decide to do another Righteous Fury, I will allow you to throw your sword at Ooh. this orc in front of you. You can throw the chopper that I used. Or the chopper, sure. Ooh. Uh, how would I do that then? You just roll. Okay, uh, do you wish to throw the chopper or do you wish to throw the chainsword? Chopper. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, roll. A 1d10 plus 5 with a pen of... Uh, yeah, 1d10 plus 5, yeah. 1d10 plus 5. Okay, 10. So you uh, like, uh, take it out of the wall, you can, and you huck it at the at the orc slugger uh, at the end of the corridor. Uh, mm-hmm. It hits him right in the shoulder. Uh, and that's going to be the end of your turn. That's 10 damage. All right. He is not very pleased with that. Owie, he says, and he just starts shooting at you back. Uh, he's not happy. Uh, hit. He does not hit. He is very sad. Uh, another one <laughs> walks up. He tries to hit you. He doesn't hit. He's also very, very sad. Uh, the one in the middle. Oh, yeah. They don't see. Yeah, they're also going you know, like, to squeeze in is like, and try to fire at you. Uh, except that he kind of he even though he's shooting at you, uh, it's like it just goes all like wildly like in his hands, and he uh, since he's so close, he shoots the guy in front of him for seventeen. Ah, de- uh, he's dead. <laughs> so there we go. All right, I'm gonna move five, ten, fifteen. There's a guy there. 
uh, here. Yeah. So I'm not going to engage. Oh, hang on, hang on. Five, ten. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to shoot him with. Oh well, he is. Yeah, he is half range. That's what plus ten. Right? Uh, plus ten. Yeah. Right. I will shoot him with my multi gun. Mm hmm. Good. Very good. Okay. All right. Draw for Yay. damage. Oh my. Ooh. Uh, he is on the brink of death. Describe how you damaged him. Actually, yes, he's like he's facing back. Like he's he doesn't see you. Uh, I jet up and just uh, shock him in the butt. Shotgun him in the butt with a melted gun. Owie, he says. <laughs> then he turns around and is like kind of scratching his bum. Oh, what was that? <laughs> he's like, and he sees you. I'm Santa Claus, bitch. <laughs> giving everyone presents. <laughs> I don't like these kinds of presents. And he tries to charge at you. <laughs> they love them. <laughs> and he's like, point behind me. <laughs> Look around. Look around you. They're, they're just smiling all around. Yeah. Uh, he's going to hit. Um, he's gonna think he's gonna hit. <laughs> it's a ninety-one. <laughs> Since you blasted him in the bum, he's like, "Ow!" Ow. Like you know, he's kind of jumping up as like he like struts towards you, and he kind of <laughs> and he misses, and it's like he just like twirls around, and now he's facing like he's facing you back again. Uh, Armoros, your turn. I'll uh, use the last cannon against the closest actually i'm gonna do a free move go towards them all right to get a point blank range all right and then i tell them nice shooting boys <laughs> and fire at them mm -hmm. plus 50 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i presume you're trying to get them both in the same shot or Ooh, that's a good idea. I was gonna say if you'd moved, if you'd moved like here, you could uh, line them up and shoot them both. Let's see. Oh, if 13. you can, if you can. Uh, no, that would be a full move. Uh, hold on. There was a. Where was it? I think you can move a full tile. Yeah, fifteen feet. Or like, or was it like ten feet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you do have a jump pack, so your movement oh, is doubled. Oh, doubled. Yeah, so you can do it. Oh, so I can do it. Yeah. There you go. And then do I have to do another damage? Uh, describe how you kill them both. Actually, this is enough damage to kill them both. Hmm. So as soon as I said, so I said, nice shooting boys. I then I jetpack into a perfect position to shoot them both. And they and I fire them both at the, what was that? Negative 10? Where's that? That's a headshot, isn't it? Uh, 10, zero, 1. Yeah, that's a headshot. Yes, you actually did a perfect <laughs> headshot so on both of them. <laughs> you took, a, you took their heads clean off. Yeah. Yeah, took their heads to clean off, and all they do on the now their bodies no longer have a head. So Very they just good. Are slowly falling down. All right, Sabrio, it's uh your technically your turn left. Uh, your action. Sweet, I am going to all out attack this guy. Mm hmm. So plus twenty. Mm hmm. And I'm still gonna miss. <laughs> Got him. All right, he's turning back to you. How do you kill him? Describe me. <laughs> One more thing to know. There's no more turbulence right now. Yeah, there is no more turbulence. <laughs> it's just... uh, Santa's going to finish the job, and I give him the biggest spanking he's ever received. As you do the spanking, like bits of like meat and bone and sinews just start flying out of him. <sighs> and he's dead. All right. Boy, that, that turbulence was rough, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was. 
And we're going to agree to that. <laughs> we're going to agree to that. <laughs> All right. Uh, you stride up. I, I, what do you do? <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, you killed the last orc on the plane. Well, I'll just go to the uh, room that was next to us. Inves investigate this room. All right. Yeah. So this is the cockpit. You see that there are like uh, uh, the seats and like the the wheels handling the craft. Uh, the kind of the, the side rooms were loaded with bombs and some ammunition and just basically just storage bays uh, of this craft. Okay. Uh, well, I say, how about we just toss a crack grenade into each one of these and then jump back out? Sure. I was also thinking of throwing one of the orcs at the console and destroy it. Just pick up the dead body and just throw it right at the console. Yeah, man, we can just nose dive. We could just nose dive it and then just run all the way back out. <laughs> that yeah, is let's option. just follow your plan. Yeah. All right. I, so, I, like, I like nose diving it versus running back out. All right. So you uh, you pick up the nearest orc body. You just throw it at the console. You break it. Uh, you kind of see smoke coming out of the machinery. You, you're not even sure it, it can produce smoke, <laughs> but you don't really think about that too much. And so you uh, you see it starting to nose dive slowly. And this is your cue to leave this uh, aircraft. Get out. Oof. All right. So that was that, that was that. Uh hey now remember <laughs> Moth exists. A lot of <laughs> Yay. Hopefully there's no turbulence in your end. <laughs> All right. I presume you also He's got a solo plane now. Yeah, uh hold on. I do presume you uh uh, jumped on the right like, fighter ship and uh, how do you approach it? Do you jump on straight into the cockpit? Do you also go into the storage bay, uh, cargo bay? How do you... How I'll do probably you... go for the cockpit, I guess. All right, you, you are going straight for the cockpit. Okay. In that case, uh, I'm going to bring you over here. Um, and I'm going to bring you over here. And I'm going to give you vision. And I'm going to put the other guys here as well so they can actually also see. Okay. You're going to be this. And I think this one is for dude. Yes. This one's going to be for dude. And also vision. Okay, can you all see uh, the inside of the ship? Oh, my yep. ghost visor is working. <laughs> yes, all I right. can see. All right. Yeah, I can see. And this guy is also going to be here. All right, so you jump down into the cockpit. Uh, Moff, roll a 1d10, please. If it's going to be above 5, something's going to happen. All right, uh, you just... Actually, I'm going to roll one for Tess as well. All right, uh, you uh, you jump, like, land on the craft. You land uh, into the cockpit area, and you uh, just crash through uh, the roof into the, uh, into the cockpit itself. You nearly miss the pilots uh, piloting it, uh, but they are startled by your sudden arrival. Uh, you have a surprise round against them. Me. Uh, go ahead and roll if you wish. Or don't. Up to you. No, I'm definitely going to shoot the guy next to me. All right. Uh, go ahead and shoot. That's a plus 30. Oh, oh boy. Range. Oh. Fuck you, I'm re-rolling that. <laughs> Pretty good. Alright, roll your damage. 
Uh, oh. that, that kills him right off. Yep. The, yeah, it's straight up. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do a thingy here as well. Uh, yoink. Okay. Hit and damage. That is also a kill. Congratulations. Your entrance is a lot faster than that. That was actually a proper kind of like clean and stealthy kind of, you know. Uh, they, they don't have turbulence. They don't have turbulence. They actually don't have turbulence. <laughs> yeah, there's no turbulence in that shit. Yeah. So since we uh, have a round here, can I put the plane into a nosedive and shoot the controls? Uh, Sure, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, do you, uh, what do you do? want to do then after, after that's happened? Leave. Head to the next plane. All right. You're just going to do that and you're, okay. Uh, you're shooting the console. It's now smoking and uh, it's now nose diving. Uh, before you're able to leave, uh, you are greeted. Hold on, one second. Before you're about to leave, you are greeted. Oh fuck! Ass. Whoops. Yeah, you are greeted with a kind of. And uh, a slugger boy just like wondering, hey, what's going on, boss? And like you see, I imagine they would be falling since we're going into a nose dive. Are Are you putting it into like a hard nose dive? Yeah. Okay, you're putting it into a hard nose dive. Then in that case, they just like kind of fall in into the, like the door. Like you see, you hear boom, boom. You hear thuds, <laughs> hit the door, and like these orcs are also going to like just hitting the walls uh, all over the ship. And like one of the orcs even gets squished by another orc as they hit the walls. Um. But yeah, they just kind of uh, are surprised, and you're just leaving the ship. Then, all right, congratulations. That's one plane down. <laughs> Very efficient. The... It, it took me. Man. <laughs> what was that? Five minutes? It took you guys an hour. <laughs> all right. So. Look, man. There's a lot of turbulence. All right. <laughs> a lot of turbulence. <laughs> you were also fighting a bomber. Oh. I took a look around in that ship, and it had a hell of a lot more fighters than that bomber did. All right, uh, so I'm gonna do it like this, and I'm gonna do it like, hold on, in fact, this. Um, you are able to choose which plane you meet on next. If you wish, you can choose the same plane. I think Team Two should choose this time. Yeah, Team Two is choosing <laughs> first. What yes. Uh, team two, you don't have enough reach to land on top of in onto the cockpit, but you do have enough kind of reach to land onto like the bottom half of the craft, either this one or that one. If you tr sorry, I'm team two, right? Yes, you're team two. Yeah. All right, so I can get to either one, but I can't get to the cockpit immediately. Yes. As it's like uh, you had like a benefit of the Thunderhawk kind of dropping you out, and now gotcha, you're gotcha. on the top of the plane. Yeah. Uh, probably this one. We should the one on the left. We should both meet up on that one. All right, both, but one on the left. Okay. In that case, let well, me... can, uh, f let's first. Can we talk about the two planes? The two options. Can you are you able to describe it? Oh. Oh yeah. Sure. So uh yeah. So the one on the left uh is uh kind of similarly looking to this um bomber uh but it's. It seems like it's kind of like a hybrid between a bomber and a fighter. Uh, and then uh, this one on the right is like a very elongated kind of uh, ship. Uh, it's kind of hard to, to say, is it like a aircraft meant for uh, air battles? Is it meant for like ground battles? It's like un unclear. It's a, it's a weird shape. I have a feeling that could be a, a man plane. I said we do the hybrid one. All right. The left. Yeah, I mean, the, the right one seems super unique, but it could also just be a red herring. Who knows? But a hybrid bomber also sounds like something the, the captain would command. You know, look at my fancy plane. But, you know, that being said, the right one being the fancy plane might also be the fancy plane. So Our many logic. options. So, so many options. <laughs> <laughs> I think... It'll be as fancy as possible, so it could be the right plane. All right, so you're choosing the right plane? Yeah. Well, I'm suggesting it. Oh. I think it needs to be right. a boat. 
think I think the left one's gonna have more people in it. Yes, but I think the right one's probably gonna have the commander in it, or the whatever the our our target. True. Well, let's go for the right one then. But I mean, if you take out the left one, as no, no, you won't. You have to fight. I can't get to the cockpit again. Yeah, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, we can, can't we? No. Same situation. Oh. Oh. Yeah, same situation. So I, I said we go for the right one because it's just, it's the flashier one. All right, it's the flashier one. Okay, all right. Let, hold on. Let me. And Oracle logic dictates the flashiest the one is the part. best one. Therefore, the biggest, baddest orc has the big, the most flashiest thing. Okay. All right. All right. One second. Let me just do thingies and. I am putting you on board. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna put the team two first since they uh arrived, like they did their job faster. Uh, I. And then you, team one, are gonna arrive uh, two turn, three turns later. So, uh, Cameron and Castion. Okay, there you go. Vision and Vision. Okay, uh, Moff, can you see? Uh, I'm still on this. We're still. The oh, still whoops, on whoops, 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 Right, 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 right. My bad. Okay, there you go. Can you see? Ah. Hey, we can see. Yes. Yep. All right. Can can uh, everyone see? I can, but I think it's because I have control of someone else's character too. I my visor is off. Mm -hmm. Uh. In that case, let me just do this. This. Okay, dude. Can you see? Yes. All right. So this is going to be you, dude. Okay. Uh, this is Moff, right? Orange guy, yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, you land uh, into this uh, ship. Uh, what do you do? What's the plan? Oh, so you, uh, you can communicate between each other, by the way. Between the two squads, if you wish. Like, you can do that. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Well, we have three rounds. Yeah, three rounds before you yeah uh, meet up. Well, I guess it's breach and clear. Go for the cockpit, nosedive it. All right, very good. Uh, look for the captain along the way, I guess. So yeah, you are meted by a set of like a double double doors, a uh, big double doors. Uh, do you wish to look for a button to open them, or do you wish to blow them out, or do you wish to look for an alternate? Servo arm. Tear them open. All right, you like you uh, activate your server arm. It starts prying these doors open with like a screech. Uh, even though you are very strong with your server arm, it still takes you a minute. And you pry open an uh, entrance big enough for you, uh, a marine to squeeze in. If it helps, the server arm is uh, slightly upgraded, so it's got eighty-five strength instead of seventy-five. All right, it has enough for two space marines to fit through. Nice. Uh, and you see an orc kind of just uh, like scratching his nose with the other end of the axe, like, and like he he looks like he spots you like, zog. <laughs> so you have a surprise round. Uh, okay. Like it. it takes a minute to open the door. He's surprised. <laughs> it's an orc. Oh no no no! Like no no! As in like you open like you open it quickly. It just doesn't budge that much. Is what I mean. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah yeah. Alrighty. Uh, what is Cobra's character again? Uh, a South Marine. Uh, he's just a very much a melee character. He has All a right, bow like, pistol as well. Yeah. Guess I should get in first then. Uh, right about here. You are like basically you're commanding him. If you want, you can make him make the first turn. Yeah, I got this. All right. 
also the like the the streams of uh, like light you see passing through the walls that's like just the 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 ship is just so shoddy it has like holes everywhere so you can just see through them good excuse for uh port masking of course <laughs> <laughs> shush <laughs> Stop making it make stop making it sense. Guess I'll shoot the guy to the south. Alright, so you just like quickly go over, you see like a certain situation, you see the guy in, on the south and you decide to shoot him. Is this what you Yes. Your... Alright, okay. You can go go for it. Hold on. I don't think I copied this weapon down right. That doesn't seem right. Oh no, it does. Okay. I forget how to use the burst in full auto. Uh, I think you have an extra hit when you're just doing an attack. Uh, like it based on your degrees of success. like degrees of success plus one yeah but what's with the single then number number rate it for rate of fire uh so, that means so for rate of fire one shot. rate of fire you can either do a single shot from one you can do burst mode for the middle one which is that's the max number of uh shots you can get which is your uh degrees of success uh and the last one is full auto uh, oh, right. it was also like a uh, full right, right, action, okay. so, so it was burst. There's there's an action that's semi auto burst, and there's an action that that's is full, full auto, auto burst. burst. Yep. Semi gives you a plus ten, full auto gives you a plus twenty. Both of them are full actions, so you can't move when you do them. But it just depends on how many bullets you want to shoot with each. Okay, then. So if I can't move when I do that, suppose I would I be in the door frame since I was prying it open, or would I be back one? Uh, depends on how you want to do it. If so I would have been in the door. the door frame prying it open. But uh, I wouldn't be able to see this guy down here doing that. Uh, if you were like Taz, you could probably get Taz's character to attack yeah. more. You know, we could be in squad mode and get that free half move. Can we do that? You can do that, yes. I mean, we could have been in it straight Alrighty, from the beginning. Have yes, straight from the beginning. Yes, you have like a half move. A free, and you have a jump back, remember that. Which is, right. you know, free 10 feet. The free 10 feet would be here then? Mm-hmm. Oh, we free feet. Free well, 10 feet, I shoot this guy with the full auto burst. <laughs> from a shotgun. Oh. If I, said, I think that's that's two hits. That's uh, two instances of damage. Additional hit for every degree of success. I think it's just a single hit. Yeah, it's just one hit. Okay, then it's just one hit. Well, I mean, you got Righteous Fury. Yeah, you got Righteous Fury. You can do it again. Oh, it also has felling one, so it ignores one unnatural toughness. All right. Because I'm using slug rounds instead of scatter. Uh, he's still standing, so he, he rushes fury, I guess. All righty. Uh, because it's an alien, you automatically succeed, so just roll damage again. Yeah, so I just forget what tearing. Oh, tearing is roll damage twice. Uh, so no, you have a well, you, have, you rolled a two d ten, and he rolled a four yes. and a ten, so you can roll a one d ten again. Yeah. To and substitute, the... yeah. yeah, and it can't replace the lowest if it's nope. So, yeah, you did the damage you did, right? Oh, do I have to confirm righteous fear with another no. hit roll first? No, no, no. all right, dead. Yeah. Okay, this one dead. All right, uh, what's her name again? Castellan, uh, charges in, uh, he's gonna do where's his sheet? There he is. It's a plus 10, I think, and he does not hit. I'm going to spend his fa uh, fate point to make that hit. 
that's going to be this. <laughs> I'm going to make it a spend another fate point to make it hit. Great, it does hit. It hits good uh, as it cleaves the orc. I was just like trying to pick his nose with the end of the chopper, like clean, uh, like it just like uh, saws its head in half. Pretty good. All right. Uh, so this was the surprise round, uh, and it does count towards the overall. Uh, so you have to wait for two rounds now. Uh, overall for initiative. Okay, and where is he? There he is. Okay, good. Why am I Sabriel? What the hell? All right, whatever. Sabriel, you're here in, in with us in spirit. Thank you. Hey, just let them attack you. They'll kill themselves. <laughs> Thank you, voice in my head. Okay, so, uh, and we're going to do one for Slugger, boys. Actually, that's a chopper. All right, there you go. They're going to be going first. <clears throat> Can I change that name somehow? I guess I can't. Oh, well. Uh, so, uh, after hearing a, a shotgun blast and a revving of a chainsaw, uh, you see a door open. And, like... Uh, a slug is like, oi, what's going on? Oi, and like they see uh, this uh, happening and they go into a battle cry, preparing to fight. Uh, and this one is also going to open, and this one's going to be there, and this one's gonna open and this one's gonna be there and this guy this is gonna start opening the door as well okay that's the end all right uh totally not sabrio is uh met by a guy to his left and he's immediately gonna strike him with two of his attacks uh, using a swift attack. Uh, actually, no, I think... Yeah, lightning attack. Oh, very good. Uh, Shit, lightning attack. Uh, Rank three? Let me see. Hold on. Assault Marine. Where are you? Wall of Steel. Yeah, lightning attack. Yep. Nice. Uh... He sees this guy, and he's going to hit him once, twice, thrice. That is a Sabrio's sheet. That's why it happened. I see. Okay. All right. Okay. My bad. Wrong oh. character. Sorry, Yuma. All good. Okay. Castion. <clears throat> I get a uh, hit. Hit. And hit damage and damage and this guy is super mega dead. God damn it! He had like a, 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 a initiative of ten, I think. All right, uh, that's gonna be a serious turn. Uh, Moff. Ah, right. Uh... Okay, that's gonna be ten. There you go. Guess I'll duck over here and then blast this dude in front of me. All right, go ahead. 
full auto again. And you are firing at point blank range, so you're getting a plus 30. Oh shit, okay, that's that's a lot then. Oh, cut that one. Mm, I'm only rolling that. <laughs> that is also 96. I have, a, I have a plus 50 to hit. <laughs> that is a 96. There we go. Alright, roll your damage. It's very, very turbulent right now for some reason, even though it wasn't just a second ago. <clears throat> very weird. Alright, describe how you kill these two guys. I just auto shotgun blast them straight through. Alright, they are... I guess the first guy I put the shotgun right to his forehead and pulled the trigger. Mega dead. Okay. Sluggers. Uh... After seeing a, uh, one of the boys die, they're like, No! And they start shooting. That was a terrible orc impression, I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, hit. Who are they shooting at? Oh wait, that's a chopper, my bad. Uh, at plus 20, they're shooting at Tessa's character. Um, and one more. They miss. Okay. Uh, another uh, slugger kind of wonder, like appears out of this door frame over here and he is gonna shoot you moth he hits oh my god 13 damage nothing all right uh one of them's gonna hey, where did he hit at uh zero four that's a headshot isn't it uh flip it 40 that's chest ah gotcha okay definitely then nothing Mm -hmm. They just move. They just move. Uh, okay, wait, that's gonna be it. All right. The bigger boys. One of them kind of appears out of the corner, and he's gonna take a swing at Tess character. This is this kind of the first thing he sees. He hits. Actually, uh, let's see if he can parry it. Uh, weapon skill. No. Ah, we. Uh, it hits him right in the where into the leg. Okay. He's gonna take two damage. Oh no. Uh another one kind of runs up. Uh this one's gonna take a charge straight at you, uh moth, and he's gonna do this. Ooh, where's that going? 22? That, 22, that's chest, I think. No, that's the right arm. No, no. Oh, le left arm. Hmm. I think I'll dodge that. Alright. As you're dodging, uh, another door opens uh, behind it, and like three more... Uh, Orcs come pouring out of it. Oh no. Oh, you left. Yeah, my mouse does this weird thing where occasionally when I left click it, hits the uh, mouse four, which is back. I see. Yeah, it's a pretty shitty mouse. Okay, one more turn remaining until the cavalry arrives. <clears throat> it was 22, cha 22 leg arm? Uh, right leg. Oh, right, right, uh, left arm, sorry, left arm. Kind of like flaxia with, with the blunt end of the chopper. Uh, 
All right, uh, that's going to be the end of their turn. You are getting swarmed by orcs. This is not looking great. Uh, uh, one more turn. Oh, one more turn. Okay. Uh, say, uh, totally not Sabriel is uh, going to do a lightning attack against the guy against v v this fella. Well, one, two, three, <laughs> something. He cleaves him, like he he kind of he puts like he jams his sword uh, into the underside into the, the belly of the orc and like lifts him up a bit as the orc is uh, getting eviscerated from the inside. Then he falls over. God fucking damn. It. <laughs> Okay, that was the end of his turn. Your turn. All right, once more into the full auto, the guy to the right. Oh, actually, one second. Uh, I'd like to do a 1 to 10. All right, never mind. All good. Continue on. Oh shit, those were all hits. Whoops. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the guy to the right, very much dead. Uh, two more hits after that. Uh, yeah, you kill one and then you kill a second one from the, all the shrapnel going uh, from, from, from the, the hits you made. So you kill two dudes. Sorry, I rolled a bunch of hits when I shouldn't have rolled. I did roll a three to degree of success there, originally. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's okay. Uh, sluggers come pouring out as well. One of them is gonna. Oh, hold on. Uh, free move. I move up here. Okay. Uh, uh slugger comes over here, and over here, and they start. Uh, one of them starts shooting. Oh, actually, can he see? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, he can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can see. Uh, totally not Cyabriel. So he's going to shoot. Hits. Uh, Castian's just going to tank it. And another one. Also is gonna shoot at him. Also hits. Ow! <laughs> Oof. Uh, twenty, and it's gonna go right where sixty. That's the body. Very good. Uh, he's gonna take two damage. Very very good. And another one is gonna shoot you. Hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, where is that? Uh, chest again? That is chest, yes. Ooh, a whole one damage. Very good. Uh, you also see a door open. Actually, that's not correct, I think. There you go. Yeah, you see a door open, and you see that there are more orcs inside, and you see a big bad orc at the end of the cockpit. Aha! Is why this round found him? Why can't he be a big good orc? Well, you're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ask him yourself. I got a present for him. Is this round three? This is round three, and you do arrive on the scene. Yes, so. Uh, say real. That's just gonna be you. And I'm gonna give you a vision. And Armoros. I already have one. Oh, right, you already have one. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so that's gonna be ten. Yeah, are we able to just jetpack straight into one of the orcs as an entrance? Roll one to ten. 
if you roll above above a five, maybe something good will happen. Yeah, well, that first one was my initiative. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> you just plop. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, sir, uh, what's what's your name again? Uh, Sayabrio, you plop like your like chest uh, like first into the cargo bay. Like, uh, you kind of yeah. don't make the jump, but you do grab onto the cargo bay, kind of, and you, you do claw back yourself, uh, claw your way back up. Um, <laughs> Armoros, you just lands on your feet. This is this is pretty nice. <laughs> okay, and uh, then do initiative stuff. Yeah, do initiative stuff. Uh, oh my god! I don't know how to add myself to initiative. Uh, you click on your token and then you roll the uh, the macro uh, initiative macro. Yeah, you add it into the attributes and abilities uh, on your sheet. Uh, attributes and abilities tab. And then you check okay. mark yeah. the uh, yeah. macro yeah. button. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I have the best initiative of them all. That is an initiative <laughs> of all time. Fair enough. <laughs> the plane is starting to get some, uh, oh, what you call it? Ah, I can't remember it anymore. <laughs> Is that right? I'll remember later, then I'll say it. All right. Turbulence. Ah, <laughs> it's turbulence. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Six. All right. Um. Yeah, don't worry about having two. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna actually do it the proper way, so we don't actually uh, get confused. There you go. Why are you Sabrio? Why why are you Sabrio? You're not Sabrio. Clearly Sabrio's token. I mean I can't see anybody's name other than my own. So. Oh I know, I know. I, mean, why. I, I, even, I don't even have a name. Is this fine? What 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 but uh, uh, oh oh okay. Okay, good. Everything's good. Everything's great. The unnamed one? Is Castion. Um, oh, he had the nine. I, I have I have zero naming on anything. On anything? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, you can only see your own name in this. Well, I don't even have a name. Oh. Oh, oh wait, no, you're name. gone. Oh wait, you're gone from the thing. Uh, add, it, add yourself again. Oh, okay. Still don't have a name. But what? Oh yeah, I that's like turn order better <laughs> Oh yeah, because I yeah yeah because I gave you a token that you can actually see and like you can actually control. Um, that's why it doesn't have a name. It's not it's not like your proper proper token. Uh, actually, you know what? Let, let me just let me just do a um, oh. armor rose. There you go. Love the rose. In Mossback. Yeah, it was real on the page. Mm. And now my guy is gone. Okay, this is interesting. <sighs> are you Sabrio again? No. Yes, you are Sabrio again. God damn it. Oh, yes. Well, look, I'm the number six Sabrio. He's the number nine Sabrio. Yes, he's going to be the number nine. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. And I'm just number four. <laughs> You're just a number four. Yeah. All right. Uh, best so, of them all. Best of them all, <laughs> yes. And uh, you see more... Um, works coming pouring out, and you see a giant kind of like orc uh, like start uh, waddling into your direction as well. Like, and you can hear it like reverberating around the ship, like boom, boom, boom. Um, it's creating more turbulence. Yup, yup, <laughs> indeed. Uh, okay, so the orc here is gonna attack you. Uh, not Sabrio 2. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chopper. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's Shooter. Okay, Moth, that's against you. Alrighty. Uh, I take it. Okay. And another one tries to push the Slugger Boy away uh, because he's interfering with actually hitting you, so it's gonna be a strength check. 
uh, from a chopper against a strength check from a slugger. <laughs> I think the slugger guy just punches him in the balls. He just like punches him and punches him in the teeth like one of the, or two just fall out of his mouth. And but yeah, he stays firm in his place. He doesn't move. Um uh, one of the boys uh actually sees you to land and he's gonna charge you. Uh wh whoever you are. And good, not the one on the ground. And where was it? Oh, there it is. I was going to have a plus 10, but he still misses. And yeah, so he misses that. Uh, that's going to be the end of their turn. Sabrio number two is going to be uh, going after. Uh, he's actually going to go help you out, uh, Cameron. And he's going to do a charge attack. Plus 10. Oh, come on. Oh, you. I'm not going to spend that for fate point yet. It's okay. He just, he, he stands there so that they don't get an advantage on you. Cameron, your turn. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay. Shotgun burst. One more time. Uh, how are you firing? And like, in what like direction are you facing? Uh, probably that way. All right. So in that case, um, minus one, uh, minus two. Minus three. Uh, did you did you hit this guy? Uh, or was the line hitting him? I think, yeah. I think it was like close enough to hit him. Uh, the rest of the shots, yeah. So we're gonna get spread out evenly between the three of those. So they're all gonna be at half HP essentially. Fair enough. From all the shrapnel flying out, unless, unless you have slugs, are you? Uh, These are slugs. Slugs. Okay. Uh, in that case, no, they don't get their HP halved. This guy though will die. There you go. All right, the real Sabriel Rubros. All right. Will he please stand I'm gonna, up? I'm gonna stand up. Thank you. And then I'm going to use my free movement to move here. And oh, he's, oh God, I'm going to miss, but whatever. <laughs> uh, and then I'll uh, use my melty gun to shoot that guy. All right. So close. I will fake point it. All right. Hey. Good. Great. Goodbye. Mega dead. Is that gonna be it? Uh, those are my two actions. So yeah. Uh, the sluggers come pouring out of the small rooms. And one of them kind of walks over here as well. And one of them goes over here. One of them goes over here. Uh, and this one immediately as he kind of sees a uh, um, um, Melta. Yeah, melt a, a melt a shotgun go through and like uh, incinerate one of the orc boys in front of him. He 
turns around and starts kind of blindly shooting as he kind of enters this uh, nuke. So he's gonna preemptively start shooting. Hit. Okay. Okay. Where did it hit me? That hit you in the foot. Again. Uh, well, the first one hit me in the chest. Thank you. Oh no! Oh yeah, it was it was the upper one. Yes, right. Yeah. Uh, so I will try and dodge this one. Yay! Hell yeah! Oh jeez! All, right. All right, the other one uh, will shoot uh, you, Moth, from behind. He misses. Uh, another one will also shoot at you, Moff. He hits. Uh, it's coming from over here. All right, 22 chest does nothing. Yeah, okay. And the final one uh, will uh, kind of scare. Sorry, that's not a chest, is it? Uh, it's not chest. 22 is... Arm. Arm. Uh, hits my armor clat armor rating. That does nothing, right? Does yes. Go over? All right. So then it does nothing. Yeah. Uh, the fourth so one. Got to roll eighteen or more to do damage to me. Yay. Yep. Uh, the fourth one. Uh, kind of. Skedaddles and also shoots at you, uh, Sabriel. No. <laughs> I told you no. A ninety-one. Oof. I told you he wasn't shooting. No, he doesn't. Okay. Um. So, uh, the final shooter. Uh, he is in melee combat with uh second cerebral, and he's gonna use his own chopper, uh, to hit him. Even though he's really bad, he's also really good. Uh, let's see if our boy can deflect that he can it does nothing okay uh armoros i don't remember a guy being here but i'll do a strength test to toss him out the locker uh yeah go ahead forces. sure there's gonna be contested strength check yeah is it just strength just strength yeah Wait, why is that zero? Wait, why do you why why is it zero? Did you press strength? Yeah. Huh. Well, either way, you rolled an eighty five, which is pretty bad. Uh well, hmm. Let me open your stat sheet, hold on. Try one more time. <laughs> oh, I know zero. why. I know why. I know why. Oh uh, yeah, you have Oh, it's because the bonuses are at uh zero? No, he's using a different sheet. Hold on. Sorry. Uh I'm can I do it like not correct? Uh try rolling once more. There, you there go. we go. So yeah. Uh Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to ignore the first two. Fine. You know what? Fine. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Describe how you do it. So as I get ready to uh, toss him out, the orc jumped at me and he flew off. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I have the cargo bay. Very good. Turbulence. Turbulence. All right, what's next? And then, so this guy's gone. Yep, uh, yep. Here, let me move him out of the way. There you go. Uh, I'll do a free half move with the jetpack. Mm -hmm. And then fire the last cannon if that's allowed. Hmm. Is the strength is tossing a full action? Hold on, let me see. 
Well, it would probably be at least a half action. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. Combat. It'd be grapple, right? Yeah. Grapple. Delay, dodge, faint, grapple, half or full. Interesting. Imagine the full is getting out of a grapple. Mm, yeah, I think so. Uh, let me quickly check. Starting a grapple, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's to maintain a grapple. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be half an action. Yeah, okay, you can shoot. Okay, and since I can shoot, I'm using the hip shooting as well mm -hmm. to uh, negate uh, negate negative stuff. All right. So I'll be just plus 20 and all. All right. Uh, mega dead, but be careful. Uh, actually, uh, roll a 1d10. Depends on which guy you're shooting at, I guess. All right, good. Okay. Uh, this does not hit the... If, if you're shooting this one in front of you... Oh, this one. Okay. Then nothing happens. All right. Yeah, you, you kill him. You kill him in a spot. Very good. And that's it. Charge... Dink. Miss. Uh, another one. Yeah, he's gonna kind of try to toss this log out of the way as well. Again. Again. Uh, okay, this is gonna be slugger. This is gonna be chopper. Yo! Oh, hell yeah. All right. He throws his uh, injured... Oh, not, not injured, but uh, just, like, more uh, ranged-oriented uh, fellow out of the way, and he swings his axe at Sabrio 2. He hits. Oh, my God. The hero chopper, uh, the hero boy. Okay, and what? damage. Uh, 30, which is, I think, chest. No, that's arm. No, 31 is chest, that's arm. Uh, two damage. Not bad, <laughs> not bad. Um, then uh, you see the, the big the big orc with like a he also has like a big me mechanical claw in one of his hands and he is like grasping and ungrasping as he's moving towards you uh he used uh like his both actions like half actions to uh move so he can't do anything uh the real save uh so sorry the fake sabrio um he gets into a stance and he is gonna use stalwart defense. He's gonna use up his hero point. And let me read exactly what it does because, hold on. Talents. Uh, stalwart. Hold a chosen point, yada yada. Very good. There you go. As a full action to adopt a Star Wars defense. While adopting this condition, may not move and may not dodge. He may make a parry reaction against all successful strikes against him, and all damage he suffers is reduced by minus two. Uh, the character enemies gain no benefits for outnumbering him, and it lasts until he is either dead or ends it. So he's going to stand in place and basically do nothing for now. Uh, Cameron, go. Right. Uh, trying to remember what this does. One sec.
We are Storm Wardens, right? Yes. Correct. Right, so... I guess I activate Sword and Shield? Is mm -hmm. that a defensive stance for all of us? Everybody in support range can use their reaction to give other people reactions to parry attacks. Correct. And if you get hit, you can use a reaction to make a standard attack with the weapon back at the people who attacked you. Yeah, basically getting counter-attack trait, yes. Oh, yeah. talent. And it's a free action, so I can still do... St Spend a full action to reload. It's probably a better choice. All right. Uh, the Rio Sabrio. Uh, do I want to do that? Two, no. Oh. Do we have a change of plan? Mm. Yeah, change of plan. I'm just going to shoot. Different weapon, though. All right, different weapon. Switching over to a plasma gun now. All right. Shooting the guy in front of me. It's a right. burst shot, so it should be two. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy is dead. Yes. Did both shots go into him? The both shots went into him, yes. Alrighty. Alright, a real Sabriel. I'm going to... I'm going to do my free move here, and then take a step over here. And I'm going to give the guy to my right a grenade. I've got the present for you! Zork. How many more grenades do you have? That's my last one. Yep, it hits oh, all of them. I mean, I still have three crack grenades, but that's my last frag. Uh, actually, yeah, you're giving this guy. Yeah, five. Mm. Mm. Which which five feet are we going to be using today? The the cool Technically, one. Technically, they both hit well, the square. Well, the last then, time I did it, matters. the last one I did affected everything around it. So. <laughs> fine, fine. Okay, uh, seventeen you, damage. The question is: Are you using adjacent only, or are you counting diagonals? I'm gonna be counting diagonals as well. Sure. Uh, everyone takes seventeen damage. They are at death's door from your present. They don't like your presence. You're like an evil Santa Claus to them. <laughs> uh, 17 damage oh, yeah. towards This where? one gets just kind of blown into the wall. Ooh, does he take extra damage from getting blown into a wall? Roll a 1d10. Yes. Wait, am I effective as well? No, he does not take an extra damage from the wall. <laughs> And this one just kind of stays in. Oh, yeah, you know what? He gets knocked out. Uh, knocked back. There you go. <clears throat> Owie! Ow! Ow! Ah! Uh, and they start shooting at you. Oh no. One. Two. And three. Okay, one hits. I take it. All right, you take it. That's the one uh, on on the top, the one you didn't kill. Uh, and then there's one fighting with the rest of these guys, and he's gonna step back and also try. Since he's so close, he's gonna receive a bonus, and 
But he's also shooting into melee, so oh, we can do it like this. He does not hit. Uh, and that's gonna be it. Next. Okay. Let's see here. Do a free action of doing a half move with my jetpack, so roughly here. And fire the laser cannon towards. I'm gonna focus on the big guy. The big guy. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Still half, uh, well below half range. So plus twenty. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> You're hitting him where? 65, that's body. Mm. Penetration of 10, okay. You damaged him pretty good, but he's still standing. Like, you like, he has like a hole in his chest. Like, you actually like pierced a hole through his chest, but he's just still going. Uh, it, like, Please. you did, you did hurt him. You did hurt him. And I think that is it. All right. Uh, it's their turn now. One second. Let me just do some stuff. Okay. Uh, he. Okay. The the last remaining chopper boy is gonna attack you. Uh, by you, I mean the second uh, Sabriel. He does not hit. Sabriel. The fake Sabriel. The Fabriel, not, if you would. Not the real one. Not the real one. Um, and then the the big boy walks over. And he's going to attempt to kind of... Uh, to see what, like, 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 with a swipe of his arm, he's gonna like try not knock you back, uh, Cameron. Alrighty, can I dodge? Uh, you, of course, yes. Uh, but he is gonna hit first. Oh, would this be a parry instead of a dodge then? This is a melee attack. Uh, are there attacks in melee which cannot be parried? I forgot. Um, unparryable. Because I think if it's like a too big, you cannot parry it. Uh... I do have a servo arm with 85 strength. All right, you know what? In that case, sure. Uh, you're both going to uh, have a, an opposing strength checks in that case. Uh, because you are gonna, you are trying to uh, stop this giant mech claw with your own servo arm. And so uh, it's like it's less about finesse. It's more like about raw power as you're trying to kind of stop it. Uh, so, row opposing strength checks. You're going to use your server arms uh, strength? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to temporarily switch my strength over since it's just easier to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. You rolled an 85. Okay. Oof. No, he rolled a 90. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, but like, yeah, he wrote a 90, but he has an 85. Uh, uh, I might fate point that. And let's see. I'm going to fate point that. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to fate point that. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, describe how you uh, stop his arm, his mech claw. The, my mechanical claw just runs up and stops it, just like grabs his wrist and is like, no. <laughs> I, I, I just whack my finger at him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, very good. Um, he is kind of he's he's confused. Why is this like? How is how are you holding his arm? And so he's gonna try uh, on his last action to break free of your thing. Uh, you're holding it still, right? Yes. All right, he's gonna try and get out of it then. Another strength roll. Nope. 
No, you do not let him. You do not let him get out, uh, escape. You have it firmly in your grasp. All right. Uh, the real Sabriel Rubros. Oh, sorry. The fake. The Fabriel. The fake F Sabriel uh, is gonna attack uh, the guy in front of him. Hit. And hit. And hit. He kind of grazes uh, the orc, but that doesn't kill him. Cameron, your turn. Alrighty. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to shoot the guy in front. Oh, shoot the guy in front of me. Yeah, you can't fire me, uh, ranged weapons in melee, right? Uh, so and... you can certain ones. Shotguns and pistols, you can. Uh, ah, okay. So I can't, can't fire this one in melee. Yeah. I can set the uh, the pistol keyword. Or the, the special. It's been a while since I used a rifle, my bad. No, I okay. guess I will reload instead. <laughs> well, you got your servo arm. Servo arm's holding somebody. I can, as a reaction, use it to uh, attack, but then I can get attacked. You're essentially grappling right now, yes. Yeah. I'm going to actually mark both of you as grappling. There you go. So you're just going to reload instead. Yep, reload my shotgun. All right, the real Sabriel, Rabriel. Go. Excellent. Uh, I'm just going to step up here. And uh, I'm going to shoot this guy. Shoot him. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, just just go ahead, go ahead and shoot him. Nope, no, I'm not. Yeah, no, I guess you're not shooting. Well, uh, I guess <laughs> I guess I'll lose my uh, use my last fate point to uh, to reroll that. Okay. All right. Yeah, that one definitely. Uh, you shoot him very very hard. <laughs> Good. Like how I'm using my melted gun for this when I know he's got like one HP. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, more sluggers. Uh, unless you want to do something else. Uh, I mean, that was my free action. I guess. Uh, well, I mean, I free moved. I guess I can just step up here into engagement range with this guy. Okay. Good. Uh, a slugger on the left outside of the, like, the, not the one you're engaging, is going to shoot at Armoros. He misses. <laughs> uh, you just, like, bow, 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 all around him. You, like, you, like, have a perfect outline of bullets, like, around you. Uh, <laughs> you like to paint, eh? Then the slugger you're engaging with, uh... Sabriel is gonna attack you in melee. Owie, he does not hit you. I'm gonna try. Uh, and then another one is gonna shoot at the fake Sabriel. And he hits because he's a faker. But he doesn't do anything because he's still Sabriel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your turn, dude. Okay. So his, so the big guy's body is essentially destroyed, right? Uh, you shot out a giant hole in like his chest, but he's still going strong. Yes. Now let me try something here. I'm searching for something, and why is this being slow? Come on, search faster. I'm going to use the... All right. I'll fire at the big guy again. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
50 and 10. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. This is hitting him in the body again. Okay. Wait, body? Yeah, because 31 is body. Yeah. If you hit, if you, you wrote for 13, you flip it, it's 31. That's, that's. I'll reverse those two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, So you deal. 44 damage to him. Righteous Fury. And yes, you do have Righteous Fury. Which is an, uh, this is a single shot though. It doesn't matter. So another damage? Another, another damage. Yeah. Describe how you kill him. <laughs> This always is gonna be like I, this is gonna be a single kind of like damage. It's gonna be like a single shot. This is not gonna be two shots. It's like a single powerful shot, essentially. Gotcha. Well, let's see. I aimed at the biggest guy in the room and fired once, and I made the previous hole uh twice as big, and then decided to aim at his head this time, fire it out, and his uh brain residues now all over the ship all right and as he is uh, falling his body is going limp uh uh i like it came around like he was still clutching at you by the way like this whole time even though like he was going limp he was still clutching hard uh but yes he, he let go and uh he he's just falls over and dies Ooh, 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 you should get him, um, since you're holding him, kind of, you should f force him to fall a little bit northwards to fall onto the other orcs. Would you like to do that? Sure. All right. Uh, roll uh, 1d20. Uh, uh, moth. This is how much uh, uh, damage uh, the rest of them are going to take from such a huge body just falling on them. Uh, so it crushes the orc boy that was engaged with you. Uh, and like it kind of squishes the one on top. <clears throat> he's still alive, but he is squished. And he is prone. Nice. Good suggestion. Uh, orc boys are no longer here. So, okay. Uh, the fake Sabriel, uh, takes, uh, leaves his stance. Well, no, he can just attack in the stance still. He's gonna do a yoink. And a sploink. There you go. That guy is dead. Yay. Came around. As I pop over here and shoot this guy. And you're minus 20 because he's engaged with me. <laughs> minus what? Minus, minus 20. Because 20, he's engaged with me. All right. Well, he's within half range, so zero then. Yep. And full auto plus another third. Better not miss. Uh, full auto is 20. Oh, sorry. Point blank is 30. He's dead. <laughs> he is very dead. The real Sabriel. Go. All right. Well, I'm going to do a free move here. And then step up to this guy. And shotgun him in the face with, with a multi-gun. So melt him in the face. Good. Oh, very good. Thank God. Emperor, yes. And describe how you kill him. Uh, I just uh, make him eat the barrel. Mm -hmm. And I say, I've got another present. Oh, that's Squeeze very tasty. Thank you. <laughs> he starts to chomping on it. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. <laughs> and he's dead. 
All right, you cleared the ship out of or uh, of orcs, and uh, the cockpit is free to explore. Uh, you look around, uh, and it seems more like a just kind of like a a drop ship, I guess you can say, because it has it housed so many orcs. Uh, it doesn't really have that much ammunition or uh, like uh, bombs or any of the like. Uh, in the cockpit itself, you see a crudely made antenna uh, satellite like dish. It's just like pointing at the wall. It's really not doing much, but it's there. Uh, and then you see uh, all sorts of beep boops uh, on the console. It's just like literally you just see like giant like red letters that say beep, and then like another one in blue like says boop on the console. Uh, and uh, that that's what you see. Try and steer it into the other one. Mm hmm. All right, uh, you stir the ship uh, to the left. Um, it, it kind of it, 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 uh, tilts, and you are getting uh, the gravitational force kind of changes, and it like brings you to the side of it. What do you do now? Do you wish to jump to the next ship, or do you wish to like let them collide and escape? I think we just want to let them collide and escape. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, you uh, take a, like you head for the cargo bay, uh, and you uh, notify the Thunderhawk to kind of uh, pick you up as you are about to go into like a skydive, as you're about to drop off from the ship. And let's move out of the scene over here. And oh, let me. Turn on order. There we go. And as all of you are on the ship on the right, I'm just going to remove this and then remove this. All of you are here. And this ship is just kind of like slowly starts veering into the left. And then it, it starts, and then it, it does crash into the one, into the other vehicle. And as you are falling, um, your Thunderhawk that you were on kind of swoops in and lands uh, underneath you so that you like you are able to stand on top of it so you uh, don't fall to the ground. So you are on top of the Thunderhawk you started on. Uh, and then as you look back you see that the ship you were just on crashes Big explosion. Boom, boom, bam. They're all gone. Mission successful. Uh, we delivered a big present to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there weren't any turbulence this time. Yes. Uh, and so the primary objective and the secondary objectives are all complete. Congratulations. You took out the, the commanding orc. Uh, and you took out all the planes in this uh, squadron. Um very good. Um, all of this is gonna try. Uh, all of this, this is gonna be uh, transferred into the main campaign. I'm gonna talk to Boko, Boko with it, and uh, like decide what th that's gonna give you uh, in the main campaign. Cool. Cool. Uh, and uh, these guys are also the same ones, uh, the same five storm wardens that. Uh, meet uh, like with with uh, the death watch team uh, that the one the brother axiom is commanding so oh, even more tech marines yes those are the tech marines but that got sent because you i think you asked for more tech marines right uh, yeah yeah. yeah there should be two tech marines in that the group before that so it could just be a squad of seven now i guess well there you go uh so uh, that was like that was the one shot. Uh, I think next time uh, there coming probably a like a longer campaign uh, side mission. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Probably I'll either uh, use our characters but like level down, or maybe we can use characters like new characters. I don't know. I'll think of something and I'll let you know. Uh, I have no plans for the next session yet. Alrighty. Yeah, but these are plan to be like kind of short one or two session missions uh so yippee yeah with uh 
Mata's first attack on the ship sped everything up. <laughs> he is very efficient, <laughs> yeah. Would have been quicker if I had rolled a five and landed on him. The pilot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, so the, uh, this is going to be it uh, for this week. Uh, I'm going to.